YouTube channel. Today I'm going to talk a little bit just how to operate your Amelot machine. Uh, the logic is pretty much the same if you have a 24 inch, a 16 inch, or even a 36 inch model of our Amelot. Um, they all pretty much work the same way. First thing is just get it at a comfortable height. You want to lift the front of the machine off the ground just a little bit, just so you're not sliding the basket on the ground when you're maneuvering around. Um, so get it at a nice, comfortable height and move in a forward motion. The way these are designed is they have to go in a forward motion. So to turn around, we prefer and suggest they do like a figure eight or just maneuver it where you're always going forward. Um, if you go backwards, it's not going to hurt the machine, but it will uh, lift up the fingers that go in between the wheels. And if that happens, sometimes you have to bend down and, and push it back into the wheels. And this is exactly how it's supposed to work. As you can see, each finger is between each wheel. And it's efficiently pushing the brass into the basket. If you are going in a reverse motion, you will notice that the fingers will lift up in between the wheels. And the only way for them to be put into the basket is with a forward motion. Sometimes a shell will get stuck in between the fingers, um, which this is the reason you will need this extractor tool. So go ahead and pull your extractor tool from the side of the machine. Use this pointy end. You just stick it in between the fingers, and you just pull up, and usually 90% of the time the jams will get unstuck. And then you can go ahead and just holster your extractor tool backs in a holster. And that is pretty much how you will use that extractor tool. You fill up the basket full of your brass or shotgun shells, whatever kind of ammo up machine you have. You first is just unsnap these fittings right here. First you put a little bit of weight, flip the baffle over, and you just lift the basket and empty it into whatever you like. To put it back, just reinsert, flip the baffle, and go ahead and snap the stability bar back onto the handle. And then you're ready to go just to pick up some more ammo up. 